Hello, I'm Dan Andrews. And I'm Elsie Andrews. And we want to welcome you to the program, Take It to the Auction. During this program, we're going to look at items. Uh, we're going to estimate them. My wife's going to uh, evaluate some items. I'm going to on this side. And then we'll see who's going to come closest to who's the winner. Um, I've been the winner most of the time. Well, maybe not. <laughs> well, after we do that, then we'll take you to the auction. The items I have here, uh, uh, I'm kind of grouping them together. I have three containers I'll share with you for different purposes and different uses and probably different time periods. But the first one here is uh, a little fingered shaker uh, sewing box. It's uh, pretty traditional, I guess. If you look inside, sorry, if you look inside here, you'll see it has the little uh, lining so uh, everything doesn't get all scratched up on the wood and everything. And uh, it's got a little handle on it here for carrying. And you kept your uh, sewing supplies in there. Um, very decorative, very nice, nice color, nice patina. And uh, I expect this is going to bring $200. Now, as another container, we have this uh, Treenware laminated um, container. As you can see, the lamination. Um, it's uh, quite nice. Again, it's probably uh, 19th century or turn of the century. The only defect that I can see is right here in the cover here. It has one little piece of the uh, trim missing. But other than that, it's in very good condition and uh, it's very collectible. You could use it for a number of things. Again, it could be used for sewing, could be used for uh, personal items. Uh, my estimate on this would be $150. The last item I have is this large tin English hat box. And uh, you didn't want to damage your precious hats back then, so you put them in a pretty strong container. Uh, a lot of them are cardboard, but this particular one is tin. Now, I don't think I'd use it for a hat box. I'd probably put kindling in it, or maybe even magazines today as a functional use. But it's again 19th century, it's English. Um, I like it, it's got a nice cover, handle, and I estimate this to bring somewhere between, oh, I think it will bring $100. Elsie, what do you have? Well, my items are not containers. Today I thought I'd just point out some items that if you're looking to collect something, you don't want to invest a lot of money, but you'd like something that's pretty and decorative uh, for your home, you might consider paperweights. Uh, they were very, very pricey during the 60s and 70s. Today the prices have fallen, so it makes a, they're a good deal to buy. Uh, you can find them with, this one is almost like a flower design with bubbles. Um, they can be very fancy or very simple. I believe that these are going to be sold together as a lot. They should run um, around $50 for the whole lot. Uh, and yet that's pretty reasonable when you figure you're getting three decorative items for your home. Well now we will stop and take you to the auction. All right, I believe it's right in the front looking at you right now. All that lot right there. Who give me a hundred on that? Would you go hundred, hundred? Would you go hundred? Would you go hundred? Well, started out with 75. 75, go 75, bid 75. 75, I have now 80. You go 80, bid 80. 75 right here, 80 going once, twice, $80. Sold, $75 right there. I need your number. I know you're ecstatic. It's uh, probably going to be six something. 684. Number four is the last jewelry lot. And I'll tell you, people picked that thing over. They looked at it closer. Uh, they just looked at it. All right, who give me a hundred on that? Would you go a hundred? Would you go a hundred? Seventy-five. Moving on out. Talk to me. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. I have now eighty-five. Seventy-five here. Go eighty-five. Bid eighty-five. Go eighty-five now. Ninety-five, ma'am. Ninety-five now. One hundred five. Now one fifteen. Would you go one fifteen now? One twenty-five. One fifteen. I have looking for one twenty-five. Going once, twice. Sold right there. One fifteen. Five forty-one. Number five, a vintage Spalding basketball signed Bob Cousy, right there. The basketball, right there. There it is, signed Bob Cousy. What's your pleasure on that? Who give me 100 on that? Would you go 100, 150? I've got now 60. I got a $50 bid looking for 60. 60 right there, 70. Now 80, go 80, go 80. I got a $70 bid looking for 80. 70 right here, 80 going once, twice. You got it, $70. 618. 
Number six is a period federal armchair and original finish and decoration. Pick it right up, truck, so they can see what they're looking at. All right, nice little, I wish I had six of those, but I don't. Has the nice little rivets in there, nice, nice color. Uh, who give me, what, $100 on that? Would you go 100, 100, would you go 100 for that armchair? Would you go 100? $50, moving on out. Talk to me, $50, any interest? I'll tell you what I'll do, 25, 25 I got now, 30. Here go, 30, 30 I got now, 35. I got a $30 bid, 35 I have now, 40. 40, would you bid a 40 for a period chair? I got 35 looking for 40. All in all done, you got a good buy, $35 right there, 643. 643. Number seven is a metal candle stand with continuous wax candle. All right, this came out of Eastport. I thought it was kind of cool, it, it's a candle. You light it and you just keep burning it and you just keep extending it. It goes on until that reel is all done. You just replace the reel. Kind of a neat little item right there. How about give me $50 for that? Would you go 50? It's on a nice little footed base. How about 25? 25, go 25, bid 25. I don't know. $15 if you're interested. All right, I guess see little or no interest. I guess we'll pass that. Thank you very much. Won't waste your time. Number eight, a Sheridan two draw sewing stand having original brass poles. Right there. How about give me 300 on that? Would you go three? Hey, three. How about two? Two I got now, two and a quarter, quarter, 210. 210, would you go 210? I got tier 210. Two, 200 here, looking for 210. All in all done. You're on it for 200. 210, anybody? You got it, $200. 373. Three, seven, three. Number um, 200. All right, number nine is an early 19th century Bowback Windsor armchair. Right there. Very, very nice. Look at the nice saddle on that. Oh, that's probably uh, 1790 to 1810, somewhere in that period. Nice chair. Who can be 200 on that? Would you go two, two? I got 100 on it now. Look for 100 and a quarter. 100 and a quarter. I got now 100 and a half. 135, 145. 155, 165. 175. 175. You got it for 165 right there. What your bidder's number is 647. Number 10. Okay, paperweights everywhere in that Eastport house. They were tucked in every corner. Here's one lot right here. Who give me $50 for that lot right there? Would you go 50? Should be paying that a piece anyways. But anyway, all right, 35. Go 35 for the lot. Would you go 35? $25. How's that? 25 I've got now, 30. I got a $25 bid, 30. Go 30. 30 anywhere. Going once. 30 here. 35. 35, 40, 40, 45. I've got a $40 bid. Look at the five, five, I've got a five. 40 is right here, five. Sold, $40 right there, 692. Number 11, another four paperweights right here. Who give me 50 on that? Would you go 50? 50, would you go 50? I have 25 now, 30, go 30 for four of them. I've got 25, looking for 30. 30 anywhere in the house for all four? 30 anywhere? Going once, twice. Sold $30 right there, the number 258, 258. Number 11, Sheridan period turn leg maple one draw nightstand. All right, very, very nice, very clean right there. How about give me 100 and a half on that? Would you go 100? I got now looking for the 10. 110, would you go 110 for the one draw? 110, 120, 130, 130, 140, 140, 150, 160. 150 out here looking for 160. 150 looking for 160. All in and all done. Sold $150, 655. Number 12, two early 19th century bowback period side Windsor chairs. Folks, if you got a if you want the period look, there's two chairs right there. They're period chairs, nice, nice uh, bowback Windsors. I don't see them in this kind of condition that often. Usually they're all busted piece and shot. These are neither. These are the right height. Who give me 200 for the law? Would you go two? I got 100 here, look for 110. 110, would you go 110? I got 100 here, look for 110. 110 for two of them. 110, 120, 130. 130, would you go 130? 130, would you go 130? All in all, down at 120, 130 anywhere. Sold, $120 right there. 625, 625. 13 is an art green glass uh, bowl having an applied red glass handles. All right, I don't know. Who give me $50 for that nice little end of the day art glass piece? $50, come along. 50 would you go? 50 $25. I'll let you all in fast so you can make money here. 25 anywhere? $15 if you're in her. 15 There you go. 15 17 and a half. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. We'll work at it. 15 here, 17 and a half. 
something we should tell our federal legislators. Work at it. Seventy and a half, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, would you go twenty dollars? Seventy and a half, twenty dollars? What a steal. Seventy and a half, six ninety-three. Fourteen, a pair of hand-blown, signed, and dated perfume bottles and a glass sculptured fish. Who give me $50 for that law right there? Would you go 50? Come along, 50. How about 35? Even 35, gold 35. I know, $25 right here. Two perfumes. 25 I got now, 30 here, gold 30. 30's right there now, 35. My 30's out there, 5. 5, you go to 5 anywhere? 35, thank you. 35, $40, $40, 35 here, 40. Going once, twice. Sold, third. I'm sorry. I didn't see it. You hesitated. Sold. $35. We're going to start this again. Are, are we on? We're on. Yeah. What's your number, ma'am? I'm sorry. Six. Thank you. You've got your chair okay. Good. I got your I got your chair for you. You got the, I hope you got the comfortable chair. Yeah. All right. Fifteen. Three glass paperweights, one on a stand, and glass paperweight perfume right there. All right, the whole lot. Who'll give me 50 for that lot? Would you go 50? Come along, 50. 50, 35, 35. Drop it right down fast so you can all get in. 35, $30 here. Go 30, bid 30. 25. Yes, I know it. 25, now 30. I got 25, 30 anywhere. 25 is right there. 30 anywhere. 30, 35, 40, sir. 40, 45. My 40 is here. Look at the 5, 5. Go to 5. My 40 is right there. Look at the 5. 5, anybody? Sold forty dollars right there, six forty three. Sixteen is a collection of political buttons. Uh, Langdon and Knotts carry on with Roosevelt, uh, Wilkie and McNary. Anyways, the whole lot. Who give me fifty dollars for that lot right there? Fifty twenty five. I've got now thirty. I got a twenty five thirty here now thirty five. I got a thirty right here. Look at a five five. You go to five thirty five forty forty. Would you go forty? 35 here, 40 anywhere. All in and up 40 I have now, 45, now 50. I got a 45 over there looking for the 50. All in and all done. Sold, $45, 247. 17A is an early butter churn with old blue paint. Folks, nice color, nice, nice color. Who give me 200 on that? Would you go 200? 100 I got now, looking for the quarter, quarter, you go to the quarter. I got 100 here, looking for the quarter. Quarter, anybody? I got a hundred here, look at the quarter. I got, quarter I got one one twenty-five, one thirty-five, anybody? One thirty-five. She can go one thirty, but I should tell you something. After one thirty, that that's one thirty-five. One forty? One forty, one forty-five. I got one forty, look at the five, five, I got a five, I got a one forty here, look at the five. Five, anybody? You got it, one forty. 608. 17B is a Einstone wheat and grape patent pudding mold. All right, very decorative inside. Looks to be all good. Anyways, there it is. Who give me fifty dollars? Who give me forty-five dollars for that? Forty-five gold, forty-five bid, forty-five. Twenty-five dollars for that nice, nice decorative pudding mold. Very nice. Twenty-five? Can't believe that. What happened to pudding molds? Fifteen dollars if interested. Quickly, fifteen anywhere. 15's right there, 70 and a half, 70 and a half, $20, $20, two and a half, two and a half, 25, 25, sold 22 and a half, 679, 679. All right, 17 says a round laminated trim wear container with cover, 10 inches high. I'm sure it's uh, circa 1900. A great, great detail there. Uh, that's a lot of work in that. Who give me a hundred and a half on that? Would you go a hundred and a half? One hundred I have now. Look for a hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Would you go a hundred and ten? Hundred and ten. Hundred and ten anywhere? One hundred I have. Look for a hundred and ten. All in all, down a hundred dollars. Hundred and ten anywhere. That's the buy of the auction right now. Hundred and ten. You got it. One hundred dollars. Six one eight. Seventeen D is an oval shaker handle. Show me the inside of that, if you would. Just take the cover off. Yeah, is a shaker oval handled sewing box. Uh, copper nails, fingers, and it's got the nice interior in there. Who give me what? 200 on that, would you go? 200, would you go? 100 I've got now, looking for 100 and a quarter. 100 and a quarter I've got now, we're looking for 135. I got 125, looking for 135. 135 going once, 125 going once, twice, 135. That's a good buy. 125 right there, 498. 17E. 
two hand carved snipe decoys, one primitive, the other painted. I know it was from a Wiscasset carver who's no longer alive. I don't remember his name, but anyways, I know it was done in Wiscasset or Wool Woolwich in that area years and years and years ago. But anyways, who gave me what? $100 for that lot, would you go 100? 100, would you go 100? $50, move it on out, 50, 60. I got a $50 bid looking for 60. 50 is right here, 60 anywhere before I sell it. 60, 70, 70, 60 is over here looking for a 70. 70 all in all down at $60, 70 anywhere. You got it, $60 right there. I need your number, 667. All right, next item is, as soon as I turn my page, I can tell you. 17F, five draw, valuable wooden chest. Valuables, it's for valuables. All right, who give me a hundred and a half on that? Would you go a hundred and a half? Way below the money, but I'm asking a hundred and a half. Who give me a hundred, hundred, would you go a hundred, would you go a hundred? Talk to me, any interest at all. Give me a figure, maybe I can start a hundred dollars? 75? 75 I have, now 85. I got a $75 bid, 85, now 95. 95 I have 105, 115, 115, 125, 135, 145, 135 I have, looking for 145, 135, 145, going once, twice, sold, 135 right there, 622, uh, 622, yeah, okay, 17G is a walking cane having a silver plated handle with applied coiled snake, all right, well, I know it might have a dagger inside. I don't know that, but uh, I know it's got the coiled snake. Use 75 on that. Would you go 75? Would you bid 75? 50, move it on out. Nice, nice handle on there. Look at that coiled snake. 35 if you're interested. 35 anywhere I have now. 40. I got a 35 dollar bid. Look at the 40. Would you go to 40? I have now to 45. 45. Would you go 45 now? 50. Now 55. 5. Would you go 5? My 50 here. 5. In and all down at 50 dollar 55 anywhere. So 50 dollars right there. I need that number though, ma'am. Sorry, 541. All right, this is the neatest thing I've seen in a long time. Right out of Eastport, Maine, 17. A Victorian picnic basket with all the original contents. All right, I don't know, it looks like it might be a little liquor snot bottle in there. I don't know, but uh, that'd be a good way to spend a Sunday afternoon overlooking the ocean, wouldn't it? Who give me 75 on that? Would you go 75? $50, move it on out, 60. I got a 50 here, looking for 60. 60, would you go 60? I think 50 is reasonable, 60 anywhere. You got a heck of a buy, $50 right there, 622. 201 is an oversized 19th century cast iron wall hook. Came out of Eastport, use it for whatever you want. There it is, right there, nice, nice wall hook. Great folksy piece. Who give me 75 on that? Would you go 75? Would you go $50 on it? How's that? We'll let you in easy. $50. More iron in that. $50? How about 25? <laughs> 31 of you. 30. 35. 40. 45. 50. 50. 55. 60. 60. I've got 55 here looking for 60. I'll, I'll never get another one. 60. 65. 65. 60, 65, 70, 70. I got 65 on, I'm looking for 70. 65 here, 70. All in all done? Sold right there, $65 to 339. 102 is kind of a unique item. It's a 19th century English tin hat box, all right? It's tin, but it's a hat box. That's what the, probably a nice fancy hat one in there. Again, I'd use it for kindling. I mean, not the, I wouldn't burn that, but I'd put the kindling in it. All right, anyways, who give me 75 on that? Would you go 75? $50, move it on out, $50. $25 for the nice, 25, 30, 35, 35, 40, 40 here, 45. Gonna let you in, $50. $50, 50, 60, one of you, 60. I got a $50 bid over here looking for 60. All in all, then a $50, 60 anywhere. 60, so $50 right there, six, seven, eight. 103 is a set of four Hitchcock side chairs painted black having stencil decorations. Right there. There they are. You got a set of four. Nice country chairs. How about give me a hundred and a half on all four? Would you go hundred and a half? How about a hundred dollars? Hundred dollars. Seventy-five move on out. You want four Hitchcock's period chairs? There they are. Seventy-five dollars. Anybody? Take them. Fifty dollars. How's that? Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. I got a seventy dollar bid here looking for eighty. My seventy's right here looking for eighty. Go eighty bid eighty. Eighty to go eighty. You got all four chairs for $70, 630, 630. 105, a wonderful 
Oh, this is unusual. A wonderful, it's got the stipe because it's the buttons in the ear right there. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we're on uh, 104. Yeah, I'm down one, aren't I? All right, 1900s pine and maple tapered leg uh, harvest table right there, 1900. Show them how nice it is. All right, folks, there it is. What can I tell you? Who give me 300 on that? Would you go three here? Go. I got 100 on it now. Look for 100 and a quarter. Quarter, quarter, 100 and a quarter, 100 and a half, 175. 200, would you go two? 200's up there now, two and a quarter. Quarter, quarter, would you go the quarter? Two and a quarter, two and a half, ma'am, two and a half. I don't normally get harvest tables, two and a half. It's only money and you can't take it with you. Two and a half, half, would you go the half, half, would you go the half? Thank you. Two and a half, 275, 275, but thank you anyways. Two and a half's right there, 275 going once, twice. You got it right there, two and a half, 704, 704. 106, there, no, yeah, 106, no. Yeah, I am keep uh, going down one here for some reason. All right, this is a wonderful Stife teddy bear pajama bag. I've never seen one before, but it does have the Stife tag right here. There it is, right there in the ear. So we know it's Stife. All right, very, very nice. Got to be fairly rare. Who give me a hundred and a half on that? Would you go hundred and a half? Hundred and a half, would you go hundred and a half? Hundred dollars, the pajama bag, hundred dollars. Talk to me, seventy-five dollars for the Stife teddy bear right there. Seventy-five? Fifty dollars, move it on out. Fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy. My sixty's up back, looking for a seventy. Way up back. Sixty there, seventy, anybody? Going once, twice. I think that's reasonable. Sixty dollars right there, six eleven, six eleven. All right, 106 is a round butcher block stand on four turn legs. All right, we're not going to pick it up, but it's right there. It's solid. It's not hollow up there. It's solid. Came out of Eastport, Maine. All right, I've never seen one round. I've seen them, you know, square and everything else, but I've never seen one round. Who give me $200 on that? Would you go two? I got 100 on it now. Look for 100 and a quarter. Quarter, quarter, 100 and a quarter, 100 and a half. Have you priced butcher blocks lately? 100 and a quarter I got now. Look at the half. Half, half. Would you go to half? One and a half, 175, 175. 175, is that yes to me? 175, 200. 175, go two, two, would you go two? If you want a nice butcher block, folks, don't go home without that one. Look at it, it's beautiful. 175, two, anybody? Sold, 175 right there, number 662. All right, 107 is a large 19th century brass uh, jelly bucket with an iron handle. Oh, I said brass, oh, wait a minute, would I skip one here? We're on 107. All right, now I said brass, but it's copper. And this is very, very early. Um, it's signed, uh, I think it's signed J.P. Schull. Uh, it is Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's got the wrought iron handle. It's very, very good. Uh, there's no rod in it. It's perfect. It's in mint condition. So what's your pleasure on that, folks? How about give me 400 on that? Would you go 400? Four, 300 I've got now, looking for the quarter. Quarter with the quarter, quarter with the quarter. I've got three here, looking for the quarter. Quarter, anybody? That's an extremely rare piece. I know it is because of the size. But anyways, i got three here, looking for the quarter. Quarter, anybody? Sold, 300 right there. 601. All right, now we're on that wonderful 108 cast metal ship's bell right there, right out of Eastport, Maine. It's got a number three stamped right in the top. It's got a nice gong to it, too. Can you get the gong going? There you go. Time for lunch. All right, who give me 200 on that? Would you go two, two, would you go two? Two, would you go two? 100 I got now, 100 and a quarter. Quarter, quarter, you go to quarter. I got 100 and a quarter, 100 and a half. 100 and a half, I got one and a quarter, hit it a half, half, you go half. Great bell for that, all cast number three. One and a quarter, look for the half, all in all done. It's a great buy, 613, 613. I know where that's going. All right. 109, semi-antique, Chinese, handmade rug, having running horses on the border, right there. If you want a room size rug, there you go, right there. Nice light color, fits in most decor. Who give me 300 on that, would you go three here, go three, would you go three, room size, would you go two? Two, would you go two? For that nice Chinese semi-antique rug right there. Two, would you go two? Two, would you go two? Talk to me, folks. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars for a room size rug. Very, very nice for that. Hundred dollars. Anybody? Oh, I can't sell it for anything. Hundred dollars. Uh, hundred. I got now. Hundred and ten. 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 Would you go? Ten. Sold. One hundred dollars. Seven oh six. Well, Dan, I feel kind of badly, but I have to break the news. You know, I won. 
Well, you know, it was probably a moment of weakness on my part that I probably felt sorry for, <laughs> so I underestimated it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you won. Okay, anyway, if you have some items that you'd like to have us appraise for you, we have a free appraisal day every Monday from 10 to 1 at the Blue Goose, which is three miles south of Belfast on Route 1. During that time, we can just look at the items, tell you what we think of them, uh, any information we know about them and their approximate value. You can bring one or you can bring a truckload. We thank you for joining us. We look forward when we see you again when we take it to the auction.